We are playing the Foglands. I keep on wanting to say Foglands, but it is the Foglands. It is an action first person shooter roguelike game. I'll flash the details up on screen so you can check it out for yourself. This is my first time playing the game. I don't know much about it at all, so this is very much a surprise for me. We've got this dude up here, this creepy looking dude who's staring at us without blinking from the top. And looking around, we have some kind of revolver and hat. I'm getting a kind of um, Western vibe from some of the things here. Now we've just got start game and credits option. So there's no options that I've seen so far. It's just start game. We've got normal mode for players that enjoy a challenge and story mode where players want to enjoy the story. Damage dealt is increased while damage taken is decreased. So easy or normal essentially. I'm going to go for normal. Standing. Long ago a mysterious, mysterious and toxic fog rolled in across the land. Humans formed strongholds underground just to survive. They rely on runners, brave souls who set foot in the fog to forage for resources. But it's a dangerous job. As the years pass, the number of runners dwindled. Congratulations, Welcome Jim. Back. You've just been recruited. Round for time's sake. Deal me in. Sounds like we're going to get treated, treated to a bit of a story. You ever smelled your palms after touching iron? Can't say I have. It hits you like a wall down there. I'll take the word for that. that stale, clammy air. As if the metal itself was rotting. Sounds lovely. Up here! Howdy, partner. Well, so glad this whole course washed up here. You know how things move around in the fog. Who's talking to me? Oh, this guy. Head to the... I guess that'd be your left. If you want some practice running the course, or head to the right to get right to the elevator to the mines. Alright, so tutorial this way it sounds like. We've got a cog. Don't know what that's about yet. We'll find out later. Okay. Whoa! That's quite the drop. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Should have warned you about that. No turning back now. So he's got some kind of mask on. Okay, press right. A to jump. Easy enough, I can do that. Uh, press the right thumbstick to crouch. Now, I'm not low enough, yet I'm uh, walking through the vent, so that's a bit, a bit weird. All right, um, point your hand at the object and hold right grip or left grip to grab and throw the object. Simple enough. Now, I am using snap turn at the moment. I have no idea what that guy's just saying. Um, I just want to see if there is an options, so there is a settings, there is a settings, right. Because I'd rather have smooth turn if possible, there we go. Oh, the menu just kind of shifted in height there. Uh, my height, 5'9", I'm a bit taller than that. 5'10", there we go. Um, it's, a, it's a bit hard hard to change, I want to get to 5'11", not 6 foot. There we go, 5'11", that's quite hard to actually change that... Uh, that uh, sliding scale there. Grip toggle off, VR play style standing, sprint vignette. No, I don't need that. Language English, da 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 da, turning head. So it's a bit weird that we didn't have options at the start of the game, but you have to kind of open it in a separate menu while you're playing the game. It's uh, a bit strange that you couldn't do this beforehand. Not uh, a deal breaker, but probably something they'd want to fix. Point your hand at the object. Okay, so what am I what am I doing here? I'm going to grab a stone. I'm going to chuck it at that target. Can I force grab? Oh, do I have to bend down? Oh no! I do appreciate a good force. Oh, I can force grab. So can I? Yes, I can. All right. For those stones, though, let's try that again. Maybe I just didn't. No, these stones you kind of do have to crouch down a, oh, a bit, or it's a bit. It's actually a bit janky, I think. Yeah, yeah, kind of have to put in a specific place. It doesn't work well so so far for the stones. It might not just be the stones. Uh, might not affect other objects, we will see. Press and hold, da da da, yeah, pretty simple. Okay. Uh, Marion, it's all boarded up. You got too fast, don't you? Okay, so I'm going to... Bash this down. Oh, let's slow down there, and we're through. We got a knife. 
Again, yeah, the uh, the force grab or distance grab is not working too well. You have to get it right, just right. There's like a kind of sweet spot. Okay. Oh, what happened there? Where did my knife go? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> I'm just uh, objects are coming from everywhere. I had a knife. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know where that knife went. Maybe there's an inventory system, and I'll find it a bit later. Oh god. This is uh, a bit harder. <laughs> we might be here a while. Try a stool. Oh, there we go. Some kind of bar. Should be at least a spare set of shooting irons down there. Go ahead and pick one up. Still okay. ain't real accustomed to these things. I brought lots of ammo with me, so don't worry if you run out. So this is ammo, I assume. And uh, where is the gun? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to shoot the target. Uh, press B to open your gun, drop ammo into it. Okay, yeah, shot, sure, shot. Sure, sure. I'm noticing a bit of slowdown as I'm firing. Go ahead and keep it in that holster on your hip in case you need it. Now, usually I'd give the talk about trigger discipline, but they're a bit strapped for time. Do I put that in there? What, what are these? And these. Mm. No idea. So reload like that. That's pretty cool. Look how it ejects the clip. You flick it back up. Grab a fuse from the ground. Throw a fuse into the conduit. Um, oh, so these are fuses. They look a lot like the ammo. That's why I thought it's ammo, like some kind of special ammo. Oh, that was that was terrible. I'll try it again. Ah, oh, yes. Wait. Guess no one's around. Okay, so, around. just one more time. What are we what are we looking for exactly? Go ahead and grab that there lantern and gun. If you don't got one already, and scout up ahead. Lift's on the other side of these rocks. I've got an idea. Got it. Got it. Alright, let's grab a, a lantern. Oh. Bit of slow down there as well. So turning it off and on, I'm getting a oh. It's okay now. Yeah, first time I did it though. Got a bit of slow down. Okay. Marion? Maid Marion. Where am I doing now? I'll go from here. You don't seem to duck quite low enough, and you have to kind of semi walk through the wall to. Uh, oh god, what is that? You can see that? Definitely. I don't know if this is getting captured, going to be captured on the video. There's a lot of slows that slow down right now, and that guy reminds me of an imp from Doom. Just thought that was pretty cool. Um, okay. Do I, can I pick up some ammo? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. Just uh, not working as it should. Now, can I put this torch in my belt? I don't need to use it anymore. Yeah. So I can put it in my belt like that. I'm guessing. In the tutorial. If we're lucky, we might have caught it while it's. Marion? Marion! He's a gunner. It sounds like. That might be my mission to rescue him. Marion, seriously? Where are you? Oh no. There's a lot of slowdown in this game. I'm noticing a lot of slowdown. I'm just a friendly stranger who happened to be riding by in your time of need. That's the dude friend. at the beginning. Saw what happened back there. That worm's a nasty piece of work. But it ain't unkillable. I see great potential in you. 
to become a real legend in them foglands. With a little help from me, of course. And I knew from the look in that devil's eye. You already knew what would happen next. He's a devil. I'm just going to turn down the sound effects. Sorry, the uh, music volume. There we go. Hard to hear it. So I'm going to help you make it happen. Oh, See, this little train and I saved your life just now. Should misfortune find you on your way to kill that worm, I'll make sure we pick you up before the reaper comes knocking. At least until that worm's dead. Then I gotta revoke your ticket. Folks up top wouldn't like it if I gave out immortality as a charity, now would they? What's in it for you? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't like it neither. But you got more things to worry about. This worm's shaking the structural integrity of your whole settlement, ain't it? But what if I say no? Oh, you just worry about killing that thing, hmm? It's a win-win for us both. Now, what do you say? You're an honest man of your word like me, ain't you? We can consider this a legally binding verbal agreement, don't you think? Don't have much of a choice here, do I? Guess I say yes. Now, you're gonna tell me. It's been wonderful having you as a passenger today, Jim. But I think your stop's coming up. Hey! So, it looks like... You know. Matters We've worse. got things like upgrades, on the way down has been squished to the and these the are redeemed so using uh, these flasks. The way next time, I reckon. Okay. And then you've also That's got okay. things like weapons and yourself. physical items that are redeemed this. using Good. things like cogs. Alright, let's jump in the lift What's and check out the first you? level. No, all good. I will. Right. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing actually. Uh, finding Marion, maybe? Map required. Okay, uh, through here. And killing that worm. That's the only things I know. Is there a, is there a missions? Oh, it's just abandoned run. So this is a roguelike. This is a, a run I'm attempting here. Uh, not sure if it's procedurally procedurally generated. If it is, I'll um, pop it up on screen. I'll let you know. But oh my god, the slowdown. Awful. It's actually affecting the game to the point that it's actually hard to hit. Oh god. Oh. So these are close combat only, these things, whatever they are. Oh, goodness, if I can hit him. There we go. How many things have got left? It says five. Oh, we've got a uh, phoenix or whatever it is. There we go. Or whatever it was. Slow mo. That's cool. You get a little slow mo uh, thing going on. Oh, when you. Uh, oh, can see him. Don't know what they're meant to be. Like, kind of zombies. People have been turned into mutants through the fog. I don't know. I don't know why I can't put my gun in my holster. It's just like some kind of grenade, I've had to guess. Let's put it on my belt. Can I smash these? I can. I guess there might be some stuff in there. Oh, and now I, I can't smash these ones. So I smashed that one, but I couldn't smash... Oh, yes, I can. Weird. And a dead bug. Hmm, let's see if we can get some goodies from these things. Maybe some cogs, maybe some flasks. Maybe jack shit. Which is what I just received there. So let's move on. So we're very misty. I guess this is this is the fog rolling in underground. Okay. Ooh. Got some uh, masked dudes here. Gas masks. Very, uh, very much a Borderlands feel right now at the moment. Very much a Borderlands feel. The art style and the kind of like mm, futuristic Wild West kind of feeling. The apocalyptic setting is very much Borderlands. Um, obviously, what they were going for. Oh my goodness. 
That fire doesn't look too great. Doesn't look too bad. The uh, the game itself, like visually, it's uh, pretty it's decent. It's okay. Uh, that fire though looks awful. But uh, other than that, not too bad, you know. Not the prettiest game, but uh, passable. So I got this uh, gun. To the fire, it does. I don't know what the difference is between this one and this one, but it's a lot slower. That's one for one. Ugh. I'm out. Damn, he took a few. We have some kind of lizard thing. Pow, pow, pow! Dead. It was a mermaid lizard thing. Oh god. This one's a close combat one as well. Damn, die. Wow. You took a few. Alright. We've got power cell, it looks like. Oh, no. Can you go into my belt? Yes, you can. Thank you. And what we've got up there? We've got some kind of weapon, I'm guessing. What was that? Something just flew into my eyeballs. Uh, right, let's see if I can grab that crate. Oh my god. How do I get up there? Maybe you run and jump. Oh god. No! So close. Uh, how do I get up there? Um, hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, let's leave that. See if I can blast it open. Okay, see if I can blast it open. No. Okay, I need to jump up there. Maybe I need to upgrade myself or something before I can get that. Uh, we got another clip from my gun. Left or right? That is the question. Let's go left. Yeah, so far it is. Oh, random loading screen. So far it's janky. I gotta say, it is janky. Um, lots of slowdown and a, few, a handful of bugs. Nothing game breaking. Just minor annoyances or immersion breaking things happening. What the hell was that? What the hell? Oh, okay. Can we purchase some stuff? Mine. You should have seen your face. Can pick up a wrench. See, like this, like it's, it, it's a bit hit and miss. It doesn't work. Come inside and see what I got, friend. The grip doesn't work as you expect it to. All right. Interact with the loot chute to deposit all kinds of scrap to the runner's lookout. But beware, you won't have that scrap to spend. That one ain't for sale, but I've got all kinds of stuff I'd be happy to trade. You know right. what I'm saying? What's so mine how do is, I... uh... Can you shut up? What do you, um... So how do I trade then? Can you... How do I do that? Do I put stuff in this chute? Scrap. Deposit scrap. Oh, okay, so it's simple as like I picked up scrap along the way. I didn't know I had that much scrap and you deposit there. Oh Now we can buy by pressing B. All right well, um, I don't have any, enough to buy anything so Screw you. Let's go through here hmm. Yeah, random loading screens as well. It's a bit uh, it's a bit disruptive. Oh, it's gone dark all of a sudden uh, let's go through this door. Yeah, it's it's at the moment it's okay. I kind of like the visuals are okay. The gameplay is maybe I shouldn't judge it so soon, but uh, uh, it's not uh, entirely enjoyable. It's just very, very average at the moment. I gotta say, like the environments are pretty bland. Uh, nothing too interesting going on. And the combat, like, yeah, it's okay. Oh crap, we've got some guns. Let's shoot these balls. This is not bad. This is not bad. Right, what have we got here? Okay, we've got a runner key. No, what do these do? A drink? No? Okay. 
Oh, maybe you can use them to distract the turrets. So I've got some scrap there. I think that, that's what that was. That was scrap. Uh, more scrap. All right. So let's distract these turrets before they kill me. Oh, crap. That didn't work out as planned. Anyway, I just run past them super easy anyway. Um, right, let's go through here. Uh, okay, let's go through this door. Yeah, like I said, nothing too impressive so far, but it's early days. It's early days. It might be. Uh, it might kind of pick up as we go along. Ah, oh, what's this elevator? Where do I go in this? Yes. Oh, we're back to the base. What happened? Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought it's uh, frozen. In there. So this is the next. Am I going deeper into the? Uh, complex um, okay oh god actually uh, shocked me a bit there okay let's see if I can buy something what is this so there is a grenade there is a fuse doesn't tell me what the grenade does and in terms of damage wise uh, and yeah it doesn't tell you what the gun does damage wise you kind of have to guess uh, okay, um, well I don't need any of this crap, so let's leave it for now. Go through here and just remember that if I need to come back to get some. Oh my goodness. Another loading screen. But if the loading points were in places where like it made more sense like going through a door or not just like randomly in the middle of a stage. Okay, let's uh, smash through these wooden planks. All the same texture as <laughs> well. I can't punch through it. I, I swear, oh, there we go. That doesn't work too well. Yeah, a lot of bugs in this game so far. I mean, it has been released, it's a new game, so maybe um, they get ironed out or patched at some point. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, okay, um, let's jump over here. Can I pistol whip things? Yes, I can. It's more effective than punching. Look at these dang headphones. They, uh, they're they pulling out my ear. I am getting a new adapter so I can wear my Vive Deluxe audio strap with on-ear headphones, but they that won't arrive for at least next week. So I'm going to have to put up with these crappy uh, earbuds for now. So yeah, no, no, it's a few things in the environment that uh, doesn't look too polished or finished. The environments, they're okay, but just very bland. Like, it's very, just one kind of texture. And not much going on at all. Um, I mean, there's some rooms that are more interesting than others, for sure. But some areas look really quite uh, unfinished or... Kind of amateurish almost okay so let's go through here let's jump down do i hurt from no i don't seem to get hurt from force at least from that height at least so let's go down here let's see what is in on top of this box uh okay go around here what if i have some kind of map I don't think so. What's this down here? Oh, I can... Ah, here we go. So I've got... Um, nice if it went through this kind of stuff in the tutorials. So, what have we got here? Uh, Wellspring. Affinities. So these are like upgrades. I can't actually read that. It's too far off the side of my headset. It makes it hard to read. I'm sure in the recording you can read that. But for me... It's 20%, all I can read is 20% health. They heightening certain damage reduced by 10%. I cannot read that. It's too, uh, it's too blurry. And, and when I move my head, it actually moves in my head. So I can't like, it's really frustrating actually. Um, because I actually don't know what these say. Which is, which is kind of game breaking. 
Uh, all right, so hands, keys, hands, guns. Do I pick up hands along the way? It's a bit weird. All right, so let's go through here. Um, what do you, oh, this looks what interesting. Is this thing? Oh, he's spawning some imps. I'm going to call them imps. They're probably not called imps, but I'm going to call them imps. Because that's basically, they do look a lot like imps from Doom 3. Now, is that his health there? Just so I've got lots of ammo at my disposal, so I can be a bit trigger happy here. Damn. Alright, things are picking up a little bit. Oh crap. He's uh he does this jump attack. Uh, I'm just gonna have to run around. Oh crap. I'm running out low on ammo, I'm gonna pick up some of that ammo. Problem is if I start picking it up it's gonna slow me down. This guy, you know reminds me of this uh reminds me of that first boss from our un until you fall, yeah. You know, even from his uh, spike attack, where he makes spikes come out of the ground, and his leap attack. Must be very much of until you fall. I wonder if it inspired this boss at all. Getting a little bit of slowdown now, especially with so many enemies, so many enemies on screen. Oh crud! Lucky I could get through there. I wasn't blocked off. Oh come on! <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna oil. Oh, I'm gonna concentrate my fire on him because he's just spawning more and more dudes, and I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere by killing them. But yeah, the, the roots coming up through the ground—that is very much until you fall. Ah, oh, he's trapped me in. A little bugger, or a big bugger, should I say? On his crater eyeball that shoots white shit. Oh, okay. Come on. Damn, this pistol isn't great. I wonder if uh, I can use a grenade. Seems like a good place for it. Let go, let go. <laughs> right, note to self. The grip button, I had to let go of the grip button. I think that was my fault then. I don't think it was the game's fault. Uh, I just didn't let go of the grip button when I should have. Oh, come on, dude, let me out. A bit of a cheap. This is a bit cheap. Oh god. Oh god. Nah. Number of enemies defeated. 23. Number of reloads. 22. Total deaths. 1. Total runs. 1. And 11. Don't know what that means. I think I'm done with this game. I played for about an hour. I realised that there might be a lot more to this game that I'm just not realising at the moment. But so far, it's been a bit of a mess. There's been quite a few bugs. Annoying bugs. There's load times in awkward places. Um, there's slowdown as well, quite a bit of slowdown I've noticed. And as for the game itself, it's okay, it's fairly average I would say, maybe even below average. I found myself not really enjoying the encounters too much. The monsters don't really inspire me, it's actually quite easy just to take them out so far. Obviously not counting the boss that I encountered, which is the probably the only difficult uh, creature that I've fought so far. I mean, it's not the worst game I've ever played in VR, but there are certainly a lot better games out there for your money. And the Foglands, as it is right now, I can't, I wouldn't say I'd recommend it, unfortunately. It does have some nice things about it. I like the, the visual style. I like the Borderlands kind of feel of the game. And I can see what they're trying to do, but they just haven't managed to pull it off, in my opinion. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's helped you decide whether or not to get this game. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.